After three decades in law enforcement, James Comey is trying his hand at a new career as a novelist. He's out with his very first work of fiction, Central Park Blessed. We recently discussed the book and the inspiration behind it. So, I mean, you've had such a long career as a prosecutor and had the distinction of being one of only eight FBI directors. If someone had told you at the start of your term that you would be writing crime novels, uh, you would be spending time with grandkids, what would you have told yourself? What would your response have been? No, there's no way. But it, it just highlights for me most of my career, most of my life is generates an imposter complex. How did I end up here and what's happened? But it's all been good. I'm really lucky to be where I am now. I know this is fiction, but how much of it was based on your actual experiences in law enforcement over the course of decades? I tried to draw it from things that I had done. People have always said you should write what you know. So I've tried not to make it a bio of particular individuals. I learned from my kids that not every Taylor Swift song is about an old boyfriend. <laughs> Many Some, of them are. Yes, but sometimes it's made up and mm -hmm. I'm not telling which is which. But I tried to make it real and bring people inside the work that I had done and show them what it's really like. One of the things uh, that struck me is that the heroes in the story aren't like Jason Bourne. They're not flying out of helicopters with multiple guns and taking down criminals. I mean, they are working in drab cubicles. Uh, they're doing the research. They're writing. Uh, it's not as glamorous. Uh, was that purposeful on your part to uh, show what law enforcement and working in law enforcement is actually like? Yeah, that's exactly right. I wanted to show folks this is how it really is. This is what the people are like. And it's ordinary, and the furniture stinks, and there's mold in the windows. You don't like the architecture very much in these buildings. No, it's, we ugly. Tell from the book. it's ugly 70s architecture, but the work is amazing, and it's really exciting without having people jumping out of helicopters and wrestling suspects to the ground when they're just a federal prosecutor. So the protagonist of your book is based on your oldest daughter, who is an assistant U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York and a very successful prosecutor of well-known cases uh, in her own right. A lot of the character stories also derive from your own experience uh, as a prosecutor. So is the character more you or more your daughter? I think it's more her. And I actually tried to combine vision of all four of my tall, smart, strong daughters. Mm -hmm who cringe at the idea of me trying to pick pieces of them and put it into mm -hmm. a character. But Nora Carlton is mainly inspired by my oldest, who went into the line of work I was in as a federal prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And I worried that she would be known as my daughter. And the cool thing is, I'm known as her father mm -hmm. because she's done so well. And so when I was working on this, she was literally trying a high profile case in the same courtroom where I prosecuted mobsters when she was four years old. So it had to be a woman as the protagonist. And it's much more fun because I'm not thinking about me in writing it. I'm thinking about these women I love and have learned a lot from, and it makes it flow out of me in a different way. James Comey's new book, Central Park West, is available in bookstores everywhere.